Europe country accepts Islam every week in the mosque. It's shocking, right? Let's check it out. Did you know that there is one capital city in Europe with Islamic origins? Mm. And there is a masjid where a conversion happens every week. Hmm. Two cities, two stories, wow. one nation. Wow. Keep watching to know more. Wow. It's not a fact that you or I would have learned from Orthodox history textbooks or from classrooms, but be prepared to be blown off your feet mm. when you find the answers later in this video. Mm. Despite efforts to target and suppress Islam and its followers, both are growing exponentially, particularly in Europe. More and more Muslims are taking up public spaces. In this country, there's a different city that has an inspirational story. In Granada, Spain, there's a masjid where almost every single Friday, wow. there's a conversion to Islam. Amazing. Post the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of Muslims in Spain mm. have increased dramatically. And you ask why? Islam is gaining popularity and youth are reaching out to masjids for support in a fast paced world where they, the youth, are sometimes struggling to keep it all together, so to say. Almost every Friday, there is a Spanish convert to Islam in our mosque, said Omar del Pozo, president of the Spanish Islamic Society Association and Granada Great Mosque Foundation. There is a big increase in the number of Spaniards who converted to Islam, especially after the pandemic. This makes us happy and proud. Getting back to our first question, the only capital city in Europe with Islamic origins is Madrid. The Galleria de Colecciones Reales Museum, which is part of the city's Umayyad fortified wall, has been visited by multitudes of people as the city is finally embracing its Islamic past. Alvaro Soler, an archaeologist and curator responsible for the exhibit, said, Madrid is the only European capital with Islamic origins. Before the rise of the West, Muslims were the torch bearers of knowledge for a thousand years. Science, mathematics, astronomy, medicine, philosophy, and arts flourished in their domain. If the European Renaissance started in Spain, the credit should go to the works of Muslim scholars and intellectuals. When Felipe II decided to establish the capital in Madrid in 1561, he was embroiled in religious wars against the Turks. He found himself facing the paradox that he was going to put the capital in a Muslim city. And that's how the whole process of manipulating the city's history began. The Galleria de Colecciones Reales Museum stands exactly where the original fortified wall stood which is near the city's royal palace. And artifacts are still being discovered to this day from when Madrid was known as Mayrit in Arabic. In this light, it's not surprising that the influence of Islam in Spain is prevalent, despite the Christian monarchs throughout the past centuries adamant on quelling it. For almost 250 years, between 1238 and 1492, mm. the city of Granada then part of the Nasrid kingdom, stood as the last remaining Muslim stronghold in the peninsula. Under the Nasrids, it became a hub for economic prosperity, cultural influence, and intellectual development. About 36,000 Muslims live in Granada cities and districts presently. The legacy of the Nasrids can be seen and heard around the city in its architecture and historical sites its cuisine, and even parts of the language that contains numerous words derived from Arabic. Recent years have seen a revival of sorts of Granada's Islamic heritage, a heritage that Queen Isabella and her successors had tried to bury. 500 years after being hounded out by the Catholic monarchs Isabel and Ferdinand, Spain's Muslims have built a mosque overlooking what was once Islam's most important outpost in Europe, the Alhambra Palace in Granada. The call to prayer of the Muaddin can now be heard in the narrow streets and alleyways of Albaycin, 
the city's old Moorish district. As a new generation of Spanish converts, which is growing both in numbers and in confidence, gives the city back a small part of its ancient Islamic heart. In Spain, the call to prayer is only heard loudly from a minaret in Granada's Grand Mosque, the mosque in the medieval Muslim neighborhood of Albison. Granada's top tourist attraction was built in 2003. The Muslims, for long, have been marginalized by the Western media, and events such as the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center haven't helped. But the Muslim communities have learned, based on the regulations of Islam, to coexist peacefully, among others, and have now integrated themselves in European society, with many Muslims now holding local, regional, and political positions in many European countries. Secretary of the Islamic Commission of Spain, Mohammed Ajana, said that the Muslim population living in Spain increased 10 times in the last 30 years, exceeding 2.5 million, according to official records. Non-official figures say that about 3 million Muslims live in Spain. According to the Union of Islamic Communities, Muslims make up 3.8% of the Spanish population. 40% are Spanish and 60% are immigrants, innocent civilians fleeing war-torn regions, and others from impoverished and developing nations began their long and complex journeys into Europe, seeking asylum and successfully winning their bids. These immigrating Muslims with robust birth rates contributed dramatically to the rise of the Muslim population in Granada. To this day, Andalus evokes among Muslims nostalgia for a golden age when it resonated with the sound of prayer every morning and the name of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was honored every day. No other country was contested between Muslims and Christians as bitterly as Spain. The struggle went on for 500 years when the battles had ended and the last Adhan was said from the ramparts of Granada in 1492. Muslims had lost the crown jewel of the Maghrib. Soon, they would be tortured and expelled, along with the Jews, from a land they considered the Garden of the West. Their monuments were razed, their mosques destroyed, their libraries burned. But Islam is returning to Spain, and with conversions happening as often as it is in the Masjid of Granada, we wonder if the words of the former Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi, will be a reality soon. He had remarked famously that Allah will grant Islam victory in Europe without swords, without guns, and without conquest, and turn it into a Muslim continent within a few decades. We hope you've benefited and enjoyed this video as much as we have been creating it for you. Wow, beautiful history, beautiful story. The fact that, you know, people keep converting to Islam in Spain every week in the mosque that is every friday is amazing guys it's really really amazing that in the in the city of spain and that was beautiful to watch and mind-blowing you know ah oh, wow 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 truly 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 there are some countries on this earth that islam is seriously taking over like seriously taking over and that, that's that's really amazing and that's shocking guys but that was beautiful to learn and and beautiful explanation beautiful history i enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye